Welcome guys, I am Harriet, and you're watching EV News on Jexton Electric. In this edition, we gonna be focusing on Tesla news and updates. Click subscribe and the bell icon, so you don't miss out on our next edition. Let's start with the new Model Y variant. Tesla is reportedly going to build a new Model Y variant with BYD Blade batteries at Gigafactory Berlin. After months of rumors that Tesla would use BYD Blade batteries at the Gigafactory in Shanghai, they will finally be used in Berlin, where Tesla will build a new Model Y variant. According to a new unofficial report based on leaked documents to Tesla Mag, the new BYD-powered Tesla Model Y have received EU approval, issued by the Netherlands Motor Vehicle Authority on July 1, 2022. The vehicle is designated Type 005, internally as Y7CR, variant, and has a 55 kWh battery, offering a range of 440 km, 273 miles, an energy consumption of 15.5 kWh per 100 km, 155 Watt per hour, or 249 Watt hours per mile, over a combined test cycle. This is according to Inside EVs. According to Chinese news outlet Sina Tech, shipments of BYD Blade batteries have already started at Gigafactory Berlin. The publication also said that the first batch of Model Ys which will be equipped with BYD batteries, are expected to roll off the Giga Berlin assembly line in late August, to early September 2022. Tesla in talks with Ontario government, to build a Gigafactory in Canada. After Elon Musk hinted at a recent shareholder meeting that Tesla was considering building its next Gigafactory in Canada, it has been confirmed that the manufacturer is indeed moving forward with plans. Canadian sources say Tesla has already filed paperwork with the Ontario government, saying it wants to build an advanced manufacturing plant. Electric Autonomy Canada received lobbying documents, which must be made public under Canadian law, submitted by Tesla in July, when the Texas-based automaker said it wanted to engage with the government and its agencies to identify opportunities for industrial and or advanced manufacturing facility. Permitting reforms with the intent to increase the competitiveness of Ontario, and its ability to attract capital investment through establishing approvals timeframes that are competitive with high growth manufacturing locations in North America. While also working with government to identify or align incentives programs that could further increase the attractiveness of Ontario for industrial and or advanced manufacturing investment. Tesla China continues its third quarter push with another huge export as it reaches its one millionth vehicle production. A series of recent videos and photos taken at the Shanghai Terminal Port suggest Tesla China's massive effort to export as many cars as possible in the third quarter is on track. As you can see in the images and footage, another massive shipment of Tesla cars is about to leave China. But a significant portion of it could be delivered to right-hand drive countries. The photo was shared by longtime Tesla watcher Wu Hua, who has followed the development and construction of Gigafactory Shanghai since its earliest days. In a YouTube post, the drone operator said some of the Model Ys he saw on a recent flight could be vehicles for the Australian market. Giga Shanghai recently made its one millionth vehicle, as CEO Elon Musk sends congratulations on Twitter. Congrats Giga Shanghai, on making millionth car. Total Teslas made now, over three million, Tesla Model Y deliveries are finally starting in New Zealand. Last Friday, one of the first registered Tesla Model Y vehicles was delivered to Auckland, New Zealand. Drav and Mona from the EV Kiwis YouTube channel reached out to Tesla RT to share their first impressions of the right-hand drive Model Y in New Zealand. Owners of the new Tesla Model Y said the build quality of their cars is impeccable. Literally no issues with panel gaps or offsets, not even internal issues found. These cars coming out of the Shanghai factory are very solid, they told Tesla RT. Video link in the description. President Biden has finally signed the Inflation Reduction Act into law. 
The US House of Representatives voted 220 against 207 in favor of the Inflation Reduction Act, the massive climate bill passed by the Senate on Sunday, backed by Democrats and opposed by Republicans. Now, President Biden has finally signed the act into law, which will have an immediate impact on the availability of EV tax credits. The Climate Act includes $369 billion in climate-related funds, the largest climate law ever passed in the United States. This is good news for Tesla buyers, as Tesla is now eligible for this new tax credit. Tesla's Fremont factory is booming, as construction continues nearby. A recent drone flyover of the Tesla Fremont factory provides insight into the complex's activity. Vehicles have been seen stored in several areas of the complex, and a number of car transporters have also been seen on site, waiting to retrieve electric vehicles from the logistics site. The recent flyover especially shows how busy Tesla is at work. New construction nearby also hints at a potential expansion of the Fremont factory. Elon Musk recently tweeted, Actually, we still operate our California factory, which is the largest auto plant in North America, at full capacity, and are considering expanding it significantly. It has built two-thirds of all electric vehicles in North America, twice as much as all other car makers combined. Tesla Gigafactory Nevada, a joint operation between Tesla and longtime partner Panasonic, is expected to increase production by 10 percent, roughly the equivalent of one production line. However, the facility will not be able to achieve this with the new line, as Panasonic would seek to improve battery production at Giga Nevada through optimization. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please support us by subscribing to help us grow and also be part of our community here at Jexton Electric Channel, as we have a mission to take the charge of fighting against climate change by bringing the future of sustainable energy closer to our viewers and subscribers, showing that electric cars are the best cars in the world. For more news and update on EVs, subscribe to this channel. See you on our next EV News Edition.